What's good, YouTube? Welcome to Proctor House Rock Walls, and today we're actually headed out to breed our female Willow Day Yorkers. So it is now uh, 5.39. I just picked up our female Frenchie. I'll be showing you guys her once uh, the sun comes out because it's still dark out here in California. I completely forgot. Um, if you guys know, we are located in Arizona. We do not um, do daylight savings or anything like that, so I forgot about the hour that's kicked back. So we got here a lot earlier than I thought we would. Um, still all good, we're still able to pick her up. Now it's time to shoot down to check out uh, Razor Timotoy. So we just checked out Razor. I can let you guys know for a fact that dog is a beast. He's a beautiful stud. Uh, nice dark mahogany markings, tall boy. He's not short at all. Um, excellent head type, strong bone head on his head. Uh, strong bone across his whole entire body, man. He's, he's a great looking stud. Uh, but what we're gonna do right now is uh, head out, go check out uh, Frank Bustos and his boy uh, Sergeant. And uh, we'll tap back in once we arrive. You guys already know where we at. Let's get to this breed. Here is the big boy Sergeant Timitor. He's being bred to our girl Willow de Yocris. We should expect some beautiful, beautiful dark, uh, rich mahogany markings on these puppies. Super head type. As you guys see, Sergeant is a beast. Beautiful head. Everything you're looking for again in the stud, man. He's definitely beautiful. Nice height on him. We expect nothing but greatness out of this uh, pairing right here. We're actually getting ready to do this breeding, but I want to walk over really quick and show you the views. Frank Bustos is living nice, man. Beautiful house, beautiful dogs, beautiful scene. <laughs> Can't get no better, man. Beautiful, beautiful views. So here we are, we're doing our first breeding with Willow and Sergeant. We're doing the AI. And this is her first AI ever, and like you just seen, Quick and easy. Super open, bro. Yeah, she's ready, bro. Yeah. She is ready. And we're filling her up with Sergeant Juice. And as you guys know from here, what we'll do is make sure uh, she gets stimulated. We'll make sure she doesn't use the restroom. And we'll be good to go for tonight, at least. And we'll be coming back tomorrow morning to do our second breeding. So it is now day two. We just arrived to Frank Busto's house. We can get this breeding done with Sergeant and Willow. Today we hope we can get a natural tie, get everything locked in before we head out to uh, Arizona to get back home. Let's get to this breeding. So we decided just to go ahead and do another AI. Quicker, easy for our time uh, timeline right now, trying to shoot back to Arizona. We got Frank right here getting everything prepped to knock this AI out. Girl Willow right here hanging out. We got Sergeant inside the, the kennel. But let's get this AI going. AI number two. My girl Willow. Being bred to Sergeant Temptor. Some puppies back there. We got some beautiful puppies here for sure. seen in my last AI video you know I just hold her back here and she'll get to pulsate and make sure she absorbs that semen before we put her in the crate but we will get some nice side-by-side -side videos of a uh, sergeant and Willow for sure so you guys will still be able to see them next to each other so really quick I asked Frank to help me uh, stack my female out get a quick video of her as you guys can see she is a micro Frenchie super small um, her torso is the same length as my hand, but as you guys can see, she's that chocolate Merle, and she is going to be taken to a fluffy um, Frenchie. I will be showing you guys a stud I decided to use uh, in a later video, but I just wanted to show you guys really quick uh, our new beautiful female right here. Here's a big boy Sergeant and our girl Willow. We just got done successfully doing two AIs, uh, one day apart. You guys see, Sergeant is a beast, right next to our beast of a, a female uh Willow, so we should get some nice dark mahogany marking puppies off of this. Nice bone structure. 
extreme head types, everything we love here at Proctor House Rottweilers. I want to say thank you to Frank Bustos for letting us come out here again. I don't know what <laughs> number this is that we came out here, but uh, it seems like we always continue to do great business. It's always easy to work with them, so I definitely appreciate them on that. We're going to go ahead and wrap this up and uh, get down to the business and driving back home. So we just got back home, and I want to say how excited uh, I am for this breeding. I am super, 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 and again, super excited for this breeding. Um, Willow is my baby. I imported her when she was around that 9 to 12 week mark uh, from Spain. And she has been everything I've ever wanted in a dog so far. Um, so I'm super excited again uh, for this breeding. I've been waiting for her, uh, for her time to shine for a while now. And we're actually here. So hopefully we're going to keep our fingers crossed and pray um, that everything took and everything went well during those two breedings. Uh, again, I want to give a shout out to all of my clients um, who locked in on this uh, beautiful, beautiful pairing between uh, Willow and uh, Sergeant. And most of you guys locked in. Well, not even most of you. All of you guys locked in before I actually decided what stud I was going to use. So let's go ahead and bring that board out. So this is what our board recording looks like right now. As you guys already know, that first pick female spot got that PHR on there, Proctor House Rottweilers. She will be staying here for sure. There's no questions about that at all whatsoever. And the same thing is going to go across for the males. Uh, I do plan on keeping first pick male, um, but things may change on males, as you guys already know. But I know I would not make the same mistake as I did with our Candy and Doka Gabano litter by giving up my first pick male out of Princess and, um, who was that? Princess and iPods' litter. Um, I decided to let my first pick male and female go. Uh, because I was banking on keeping a puppy from Candy and Doka Gabano's litter. But if you guys don't know what happened with Candy and Doka Gabano's litter, go ahead and watch that video of us whelping our seed litter. Um, but basically, I was not able to keep a female out of there, and then I decided to give uh, first pick male back to uh, where I actually got Candy from. We had an agreement and a deal um, to where he would have received first pick male, I'll receive first pick me female. Um, I wasn't able to keep my female, but I'm going to stick to my agreement. Um, and I had the option to keep this male, but I decided not to. Uh, but again, I won't make that mistake again and not and take deposits on my puppies a little bit too early um, as far as my own personal picks. But let's go ahead and go down to second pick female. Uh, and this is actually going to Black Kings Rottweilers. Uh, you can basically call him my partner, but not really because we have our own kennels and camps. Um, but we do a lot of business together. Uh, great guy, has a lot of knowledge. Um, we actually linked up because we imported our dogs basically together. He owns Simba's uh, full sister. Her name is Luna Timator. Beautiful, beautiful female. Um, but she is going to Black King Rottweiler's kennel. Um, you can follow them on Instagram, obviously at Black King Rottweilers, but she will be there in Sacramento. Um, second pick male is actually going to California as well um, with a guy named Keon. And if you guys didn't know, Keon is actually my first name, so I thought that was cool to be able to work with a client with the same name as me. But he will be going to California. And then third is my guy Silvio. So with Silvio, which is crazy, um, this is going to be his second puppy he got from me. And he actually ended up getting my first pick female off of Princess and iPods' litter. So um, he just decided to double back. He was very happy and satisfied, satisfied with his current puppy that I got for him. Um, so he decided to get on, you know, Willow's litter. So he's going to be taking third pick of male, and that's going to be going to New York. But this is going to be the end of our video. I appreciate you guys for taking time out of your day to tune in. Uh, be sure to hit that subscribe button, and when you do subscribe, be sure to hit that bell to turn on all post notifications to get notified when I do drop my videos, as well as give us a follow on Instagram and TikTok, as well as a like on Facebook, all at Proctor House Rottweilers, and we are out.